Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kuta Loops. In our last episode, we started the long process of fixing up our empire when suddenly a wild Fatimid attacked in the Shia Jihad for Jerusalem. I don't think we need to worry about this too much, though, because it's mostly just him and his vassals. Though that being said, he himself does have 20,000 dudes, and I'm sure his vassals do amount to probably as much as he does, or maybe a little bit less, but anyways. We are currently more preoccupied with the um, revocation of Göttingen from the Duke of Brunswick, and I think this would probably be a good start to um, get our internal borders fixed up. Next on the list would probably be either Corinthia or I think uh, Bavaria? Yeah, he might be another uh, good choice there. But let's see if we can stop this guy from going into Altmark and then catch him in Altmark. Yeah, let's just completely wipe out his troops. That's right, you some bitch. Fantastic. And then you guys can go back into Lüneburg. In the meantime, oh, my air's still in hiding. I was kind of hoping that by this time he'd be uh, out of hiding so that we can, you know, imprison him or maybe assassinate him even. But that's fine. Okay, back into Lüneburg. Sure, why not? And of course, whilst all this is happening, we are going to, aha! Nice! We've managed to imprison the sucker. Fantastic. So the county of Göttingen is now mine. Let me go ahead and revoke your duchy as well. And I think then we should probably focus our attention towards taking care of the Shia. Now can I... Why would I lose 1400 dudes? Um, are most of them from Jerusalem or something? Okay, I'm not losing out that Wait, actually, let me see if perhaps letting time pass would fix this. Okay, it's fixed that. But what about these dudes? We'd lose about 800 dudes. Um, you know what? Losing 800 dudes to gain 2,596 more dudes? I'd say the trade-off is pretty good. Um, I think maybe? I don't know if that really worked out, but that's fine. Okay, let's get our troops raised, and then let's also get our boats raised. Where are the majority of my troops right now? Oh, I guess they're up north, aren't they? Alright, fine. Um, we'll get boats. Thank you. Actually, get all the boats. Uh... The troops in Jerusalem amount to about... Not... Hmm, it's not bad. I think, though, it would be safer if we just get these guys on their boats. And they just extract them out of there. Like the uh, Shi'a are going to extract my foot out of their asses once we uh, win this war. Okay. You guys can actually just stand down, it's fine. Got all the boats over to the Levantine Sea. And then you guys can board that. And then book it across into... Oh, I guess you guys are headed down there. Alright, fine. This might take a little bit of a maneuvering, but should be fine, I think. Okay, um... People who are around Italy, let's just have you guys meet up in Italy. And the boats around Italy can meet up in... Um... The Ligurian Sea or whatever. Okay, these dudes were um, farther up north. Why don't you guys just meet up in Oldenburg and then we'll get you guys picked up via boatage. And who's this? You want to help defend us? Fantastic, why not? Sure, sure. And we revoke the um, Duchy of Brunswick. Let me give away the County of Göttingen first. Because that's part of Thuringia, I believe. And we're gonna go with... Dragos. Dragos, you can take the new county of Göttingen. And otherwise... The Duchy of Brunswick is... Okay. These five. Alright, I think we're gonna go with Oldenburg. 
Yeah, he has the best stats overall, and he also is content, so that's perfect. Nice. Okay, so where are you guys headed? Oh, all the other boats. Actually, meet up in, um, wherever this is. The Gulf of Heligoland. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Um. Hmm. Like I said, I don't think we need to worry too much about this. But that being said, this could quickly get out of hand if they manage to amass all of their troops into one place and start sieging down everything. But as long as we don't lose a fight, a major fight against them, they should still be stuck at like 99% until uh, for like three years. Which will give us more than enough time to um, get down there and kick their teeth in. Alright, why don't you guys go up over there, pick up the rest of the troops over here. Except, not going to be able to fit all of them into the, those boats, so how about we just go there instead. Um, can you guys actually just... Actually, no, you can just go from there. There we go. Yeah, 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 sure, fine, whatever. Okay, Italian troops or the troops around Italy, go ahead and get on the boats. And everyone is... What the crap, Oli? What is this garbage? That shouldn't count as a victory, right? No, it's still like zero war score. Ha, <laughs> nice. Didn't even count. Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wilds. As you knock, an old crone up here oh, opens. When she sees you and your hunting party, she cackles eerily and says that she has a powerful potion that will make you a stronger hunter, sure to catch any prey. No, I think at this point we're probably gonna lose more than gain that. All right, back to Oldenburg, thank you very much. These guys are gathering. Great. Sure, thanks. Who are you? Get out of my face. I don't care about your stupid uh, culture or whatever. Right, right. 310 boats. Let's get you guys up north. Actually, you know what? Stay in Bremen. Because I don't want the um, supply limit here to suddenly tank. 33,000. It could go down, assuming that we are hit with a like severe winter or something like that, but... Yeah, it should be fine, but just in case, right? And we have 1,500 ducats. For 53 dudes can just stand down. I'm wondering if we should maybe save up our money, or if we should perhaps start upgrading shit. Hmm. I'd say let's just save up our money just in case we need to bring in mercenaries for whatever reason. You never know, right? You never know. Mankind is unlovable. No more charity. What the shit? Come on, who did that to our old, uh, Pluten? Darum is under siege. That's fine. Um, Scotland sent one boat. One dinghy. Fantastic. Alright. That's great, shirt. Okay, cool, thanks. Got it. That's nice. Alright, hold off, okay? Just take it easy, guys. Alright, everyone, get on the boats. Thank you. And let's go pick up the rest of the dudes in Galaz. Sure. Okay, so that should hopefully be able to fit everyone. Yep, yep, I get it. Negative 26%. And the Pope has decided to finally join in. Great. Oh, that's my ward. Sure. Hey, look at that. You actually gained some, uh, some stuff there. And Dublin wants to join in on the uh, defense of Jerusalem. Sure, why not? We're hemorrhaging money, but um, we have some reserves built up, so I think we're fine. Everyone at court loves your dog, especially the children find much joy in playing with them. Great. Aha! Nikolai here has finally come out of hiding. Let's imprison him. And he's decided to fly into an open rebellion. Okay, well... Thankfully, we do have a lot of troops stationed around him, so let's quickly take a bit of a detour and then imprison him and then see what we can do to completely um, remove him from the face of the uh, planet here. Okay, you know what? We actually have enough um, troops to, or supply limit there. 
Not so much in Verona itself, but that should be fine. Yeah, you know what? We'll go kick his teeth in. 72 dudes. Go ahead and assault that holding. Though I'd rather be, um, I'd rather much we use our... I'd rather much? I'd rather we use our resources towards uh, beating off the Shia, but needs must when the devil drives, right? This is our heir apparent, and we don't want him to be our heir apparent. We want to kick his teeth in. Uh, it's a shame we didn't kill him in combat, but I guess it's fine. Okay, he's been imprisoned. I can't execute him. I can't banish him. Maybe we can torture him? Let's throw him in the oubliette for sure. And then... We could plot to kill him. But... If we do get caught though... Kinslayer is pretty terrible to have. Okay, apparently the basilisk of the Byzantine Empire is... Betrothed to my kinswoman. And we wouldn't get a non-aggression pact out of this. Why wouldn't we? Is it just because she's a kinswoman and not like my... Oh, it's because she's not a close relative, I guess. Alright, well, if this isn't going to help me, then... Um, boom, get out of that relationship. Alright. Get on the boats. And you guys can also get on the boats. And now... Alright, we got to pick up more dudes. Yeah, negative 47%? You know what? Not too bad. Except I think we just lost a rather sizable uh, battle there, so that's terrible, but it's fine. Oh. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Your wife is deteroni. Air. Air. Come on, man. You're not my heir. You know it. The whole world use, yeah, knows you're not my real heir. I mean, he is technically, but still. All right, we're coming in with crap ton of troops. Let's have them all land right on top of Jaffa. And we'll split these guys up. You know what? Actually, we should be able to support everyone that we have right now. Okay. You've usurped the county of whatever. That's great. Hmm. Now, the supply limit in Beership is not great. Which concerns me a fair bit. Um, I think if we just... If we just have our best commanders on the case here, we should be fine. But just in case... I'm gonna make sure that we... Um, yeah, you know what? It's fine. I I'd rather we not lose this fight than, um, than take uh, Supply Limit in, or whatever. Wait. How am I supposed to phrase that? You know what? Never mind. I'm trying my best to English here, and it's not really working out in my head. Okay, why don't you guys go over to Montreal and uh, liberate them. Now, uh, War Score. Okay. Cool. So it's just these three counties that are mostly tanking our thing here, or our uh, war score, Susa. Susa is actually perfectly formed. Wow, that's genuinely surprising. It's, I mean, not particularly because it's Susa, but because it's, um, well, we don't have a lot of, like, a well, a perfectly formed uh, duchies or kingdoms right now. So it's nice to see that. You know, there are some places where you don't have to deal with stupid-ass border gore, and they're going into El Arish. Let's follow them into El Arish, because we don't need to worry about wars or uh, the supply limit there. Great. As a matter of fact, if we have an organizer in that stack, we'll be able to uh, do a defensive fight against them, and then just probably cause more casualties that way. Okay, we're going to be taking a... Um, sorry, we're, we're going to be taking attrition in Farama, so let's just... Stay in our territory and try to take back what's ours. Uh, excuse me, who's causing this um, supply limit crisis right now? Pope's army? Get out of here, Pope's army. That's right. And then you guys can move down to a lot. And looks like the um, the uh, what's it? 
the Byzantine Empire uh, Emperor is really lusting after my bloodline. Why? I have no idea. Helen? Hmm. She wouldn't really be inheriting... Ulster? You know what? Sure. Why don't you get married to Helen Dracula? Helen, have fun. Have fun. Um, great. Thank you, I guess. Aha. We're trying to catch our uh, little Pope, are we? Wait a minute. I know this guy. This guy was this guy. Oh, he became the Pope. Interesting. Hmm. Yep, he remembers me. That's great. Alright, let's go beat him off. Uh, supply limit there. Mostly tanked thanks to the uh, Pope. But that's fine. Let's just go ahead and assault that holding. And we'll move on to the next one as well. Get these guys out of here. And we'll follow them into Farama. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, sure. Why not? Whoa, what the crap? Why isn't he mobilizing that army? I mean, I don't mean to sound ungrateful. And uh, let's, again, not never kick a gift horse in the teeth here, but it is weird that he's not using that stack of 23,000 dudes. I don't care about your roses. I'll just summon someone else to do that uh, dirty work. Uh, no need to threaten Estragom. We're fine. And you know what? We're actually going to keep our troops here just in case they decide to attack us with that unholy stack. And I've inherited the county of Hebron. Well, what terrible timing. Um, let's go with... Uh, ugh. Not a lot of good choices here. Corneliu? You can take the county of Hebron. Merry Christmas. Alright. I guess we could try taking Sinai. And then that way we can move on to Farama. Great. Thank you for the roses. Very nice. Why is it still at negative three? Control of Darum? Pope, can you take that land back, like, faster? Because you're not really helping out with the situation here. Okay, that's good. There we go. Now we're seeing some results, th thanks to the Pope. Or is it mostly Denmark that's helping out here? Um, you know what? It's actually Denmark more than the Pope. But that's fine. It's not a competition. I mean, my love will be universal and be granted to all um, equally. But um, some will be given more equal love than others, if you know what I mean. Right, we are 30%, 35%. Let's get our 14,000 stack into Farama. Ah, this is genuinely terrifying. Now, combined, we definitely do have more than they do. But if they do attack us, they might have a few days head start against us, which is not great. But we should be fine. Okay, let's just keep an eye out on this situation here. I'm not going to move any away because I'm pretty sure, like, just based on my um, past experiences and luck. Oh, wait, I guess it wouldn't make sense for the Pope to... No, actually, why don't you stack your troops onto me here, and we'll leave the Pope's army to just do whatever the hell they're doing in Darum? I guess maybe endorsing the local pubs and, um, I don't know, uh, prostitution places? Like the brothels, I guess? <laughs> uh, is what I imagine they're doing in Darum? I have no idea. I'm just making shit up. Um... But yeah, he seems really pre preoccupied with staying there. You know what? That's fine. Um, right, right. Okay, we're starting to get some ticking war score. But I think you would probably get the best amount of war score if we were to attack them. No, it's a little too much, I think. If they decide to attack us, that'd be great. But if not, then so be it, right? Sure, sure. Exposed. Hmm. 
I really like to get rid of this stack. But the supply limit here is just not that great. Ah, uh, in fact, we're actually seeing some... Damn it, you know what? Go back into Sinai, just in case. And I'm no longer stressed. Fantastic. Thank you, doggy. Okay, um... I guess we should stick with our hunting focus? Yeah, I don't really see the need for anything else. For now, anyways. In the meantime, can we... I don't think we should create any duchies just yet. Not until we figure everything out. We especially don't want to give away kingdom titles just yet. That's for sure. Hmm. Duchy of Ascalon. Oh, right. No, we can't because we are holding on to Jaffa and uh, Jerusalem. Ugh. Damn. Look at that vast limit. That is terrible. Absolutely the worst. Now, when can I change council power again? Oh, by the end of this year. Okay, great. So once that... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening over there? Okay, let's actually go back into our territory. Uh, move back into Darum, please. Uh-oh. Court physician, you better not botch this up, man. What's happening? Okay, successful treatment. Good. I thought he was going to be um, have his nuts chopped off just because of the uh, flu. Which is, of course... Generally, the best way to um, cure your uh, flu issues, but I prefer that we keep our nutsack intact when dealing with a common cold. All right, you guys can move into Ascalon. That should be enough. What is he doing in there? Like, have you just given up? What are you doing? Like, you got 12,000 dudes that you're not, I mean, again, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but if you could, you know, break them up a little bit. Wait. Oh, right, okay, never mind. I thought they were um, fudging the supply limit here, but that's the supply limit for us. For them, the supply limit, I'm sure, is much higher. Great, thank you for convincing the Pope that I'm hot shit. Let's hope that he doesn't think that I'm hot shit, as in, like, a steaming pile of feces. No, you know what? He thinks I'm hot shit, like good shit. Okay, December of this year, we can abolish council power, increase our domain limit, but that will... Will that actually re reduce our um, vassal count or vassal limit? You know what? Screw this guy. Leave him for now. October, let's wait until December. Whoa, okay. Sure. Let's go uh, beat off his 3,000 dudes. And some asshole is trying to gather adventures against me. Fine. Eat a dick. That rat bastard. Uh, 71%. At this point, I think we're actually just relying on um, taking war score more than anything else. Which is really dumb. Because he's got a fat stack over there. And I really wish he would actually... Um, Mobilize them so that I can, you know, kill them and shit and get some war score that way. But, eh, so be it. Go up into El Arish. Actually, no, go down to Ascalon. These guys can go into Darum, where we're guaranteed good supply limit. Roberto, stop coming to me with your life problems, little shit. Okay, uh, January. Yes. And looks like we have more than enough supporters. And then we can go ahead and change that to religious control mandate. And then finally get absolute rule. Which would be fantastic. Hoping this doesn't reduce our vassal count even more. Or vassal limit rather. Yeah, well we gotta keep an eye out on that. But hopefully we should be okay. Yes! Perfection! Okay, so it's going to be another five years. No, wait, ten years? Why is that ten years now? Huh. That's not good. Um, think you can uh, stay on for that long, Blue Ten? I think we should actually try to get this guy assassinated. I don't think he's going to die anytime soon. Hmm. 
Okay, well, let's plot to kill him. And in fact, we should probably cherry pick our, uh... The people that we invite to the plot. So let's stick with people who are... At least 10 and above in terms of their intrigue level. Of course, the disadvantage to this isn't necessarily the whole... Clickety-click of, um, you know... Right-clicking and then selecting yes or whatever. Or selecting invite to plot, but more so the... Um, the fact that they're going to be sending individual letters to me, saying that they will join my plot. Because, uh, well... You'll see in a sec, if you haven't seen it before. Right, right. Oh shit, Outer Jordan, right, of course. I remember we, um, gave the title away to someone who was... We purposefully gave it away to someone who was really old and shit, because we knew that it would bounce back to us rather quickly. Um, who do we want? in Outer Jordan now. I guess, you know what, let's just go for Illy. You can take the county of Montreal. And then we're just gonna give you the duchy as well. I mean, this guy's really good. But Negev as a county is not that great. There you go, buddy. Have fun with that. Of course, the place that I just gave you is, um, you know, kind of under siege right now, so you might want to, uh, take... This is gonna happen, yep. Oh... Which is why the whole invite or uh, auto-invite to plot is much easier. Okay. So our plot has been started by Ron Jeremy himself. Fantastic. Who will probably use his massive penis to possibly strangle this guy in the least sexual ways uh, possible. Let's hope that I don't get discovered in this weird plot involving penal assassination. Okay, yeah, uh, go back into the room, please. Oof. I don't like low supply land places. He's dead. Died under suspicious circumstances. <laughs> Good job, Ron Jeremy. Good job. Yes. <laughs> so for now, at least, we don't need to worry about succession laws. But it'd be great if we can get this changed before um, Pluten bites the bucket. Because otherwise, they're going, there's going to be a succession law changed malice for, um, for Zeister. Okay, all these gets we'll worry about in a sec. Who's she trying to kill? She's only possessed, so there's got to be a reason why she's trying to kill this person, right? Mmm... Doesn't matter. Because usually when someone is a lunatic, the AI will often just uh, randomly try to kill people. Um, but possessed, I don't think has that um, stipulation. So I'm just kind of looking through people that we can um, imprison, or sorry, incite a rebellion. Whose pants... Within, I can incite rebel- Okay, well, never mind. I'm trying to explain it, but my... Um... Mouth sounds aren't working properly. Fantastic. Thank you for convincing Ron Jeremy that I'm hot shit. And it's funny that uh, Ron Jeremy himself uh, here is actually a seduction focused. And, uh, lustful. <laughs> and has herpes? I don't know if the Ron Jer- If the real Ron Jeremy has herpes, but... You never know, right? Because as far as I'm aware, um, people in the porn industry have actually have a lower um, incidence of STIs than the general population because they're constantly checked. I think they have to take like a mandatory check every month or something. But uh, you know, I'm not gonna pretend that I know everything there is to know about the porn industry. Okay, let's have you guys go back in Tyros. Ah. Okay, 89%. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. It's taking a little while, um, unfortunately, but we're getting there. And it seems like our rum neighbors to the north aren't having the easiest time controlling their vassals. Which is fine by me, because I think that kind of keeps them preoccupied. Knock on wood. Um, but it is a little concerning, because I'm pretty sure they've got their own holy orders that they can use to uh, pummel my butthawks in the most sexual ways possible which we want to avoid 
So I think if we can, we should maybe try to focus or turn our attention towards the Rumites to the north. After we've dealt with the uh, Fatimids. Perhaps if we can... Wait, I can't do that yet. Not until Holy Fury comes out. Um, unless I can. I'm actually not sure if there's a way to influence the Pope into... Um, um, calling uh, Crusades into certain places. Because it, it'd be great to really just cut down the realm to size. Because I think they're probably one of the stronger realms in the uh, world right now. Besides the Byzantines, of course. Who are now sporting a nice... 42,000? You liar. Unless maybe you've got the 10,000 just hiding away somewhere in your butt. He looks like the type of per person who would hide... Um, 10,000 men inside of his butt. He just looks like he has a gigantic ass. What can I say? Alright, I don't think we're actually going to be able to um, win the Jihad this episode. Because judging by the way that it's been progressing, it just seems like it's going to drag on for a little while. Yeah. The most like war score that we can get from the battles, except for the Battle of Beership, is like maximum 2%-ish. Not even. Good grief. So yeah, we're gonna have to end this episode off here for now. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take another five to ten minutes before we can uh, see an end to this um, successful end to this uh, jihad. But that being said, hmm, I wonder if perhaps we should drag this war out for longer because I do get the nice, nice opinion boost, defending versus infidels. But I think it's actually a lot more difficult and probably dangerous, I think is the better way to phrase it. Um, it's a lot more dangerous to hold on to jihads because um, it's not just the top liege attacking you. It's him and all of his vassals also being allied with him. So then they bring in um, not just his troops and his um, vassal troops, but he also brings in his vassals and their original troops, if you were, um, if it were, you know, if that makes any sense. So that's why the great holy wars tend to be a bit more dangerous to, to uh, defend against. If it was just like a regular um, holy war like we had with the uh, armadillos attacking us for Telemkin, then yeah, I would definitely wouldn't mind holding on to that for a few years just to get some milk, some opinion out of my vassals. But this is decidedly more dangerous. And I think it also incentivizes uh, uh, other enemies, like the Rum, for example, to uh, declare war on us because we already have a rather sizable war against us, right? Or something, at least. I'm not exactly sure how the AI works. I'm not a computer. Or maybe I am. Maybe my entire channel has been computer-generated this whole time, and I'm just a bot. If I were a bot, though, I would definitely play a lot better than I, <laughs> than I am, so... Maybe that's evidence as to uh, me not being a bot. Alright, well that's enough of that. Let's leave the episode off here for now and we'll continue tomorrow. So, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!